We start with Sefer Shmiras Halashon. And uh, today's topic is uh, spiritual blessings. And we, we continue with the same topic that uh, we do every other time. Uh, uh, like uh, pieces from that book. Okay, it's Sefer Melas Hamnidos continues. When Hashem rewarded the wicked in this world for whatever good they uh, have done, um, <clears throat> reserving their punishment for the world to come, He grants them wealth, property, longevity, honor, and other benefits, but He does not grant them tranquility. As it is written, there is no peace, says, uh, um, says, says my God, for the wicked. It's from Yirmiyahu 57, 21. Conversely, peace is a reward uh, reserved for the righteous, as it is written, and the deed, uh, deed of the righteousness will, uh, will be rewarded with peace. Okay, it's uh, also from Yeshayahu 32, 17. So let's read it again, and we're going to explain line by line. Very interesting. So it says, Hashem rewards the wicked in this world for whatever good um, they have done, Reserving their punishment for the world uh, for the world to come. Okay, so meaning uh, if uh, if we see somebody is prospering, some people like uh, would ask question. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's a very important question to know answer to. Uh, it's actually Moshe Rabbeinu uh, asked this question of Hashem, and uh, uh, and Hashem said, uh, as we explained uh, before, so you cannot see my front, you can only see my back. And then you would not understand the way I run the world anyway. But today, after all of this uh, communication between Hashem and Moshe was written, and all of the explanation to ask this question is, uh, it means that person never learned. But somebody like asked me, like somebody pretend to be edu educated in Judaism, and we made the clip, whatever clip is it, and, uh, and the guy is asking me how come uh, Shlomo HaMelech was allowed to marry 1,000 women. It's like, like, have you learned anything in your life? Like, uh, why, why are you asking? Go and Google and check. Like, uh, very interesting, right? So, uh, like a, a person who like portray himself as a smart person, but knows exactly zero about Judaism. That's very interesting. So today, like, uh, again, the answer is because Hashem wants to get rid of these wicked people, he said, you, you're an enemy, and throw him, uh, uh, throw them uh, all of these good things, uh, uh, about the which they dreamed anyway, right? So I meaning what? He grants them wealth, property, longevity, right? The, they they want wealth. Here here we go. Property. So I meaning wealth. I meaning whatever they do, they're going to be successful. And some people or many people think that uh, if somebody is wealthy, that he's smart. <laughs> Absolutely not. He's uh, he's wealthy because Hashem decreed so. And I know some people, uh, some of my students, that no matter what they do, it's like uh, to make a living, it's so hard. And like, I feel so bad for them. And uh, But uh, they, they, they continue struggling and uh, continue living. But I always tell them, look, okay, with all of your complaints, with all of your uh, um, frustration, but until now, Hashem was able to provide for you. It's just a look at it, right? Uh, you, you did not uh, die from starvation. You did not uh, die from... Uh, uh, lack of med medical care, so he was able like to to find you doctor, to find you parnasa, this work, that work, so, um, right? So, but but for wicked people, Hashem, no, no, for you there is no struggle. So I, I'm talking about this, the, this couple that I have in mind, the righteous people, <laughs> very righteous people, and they have so much st struggle here. No problem. You want a wealth? Here we go. Property, whatever you want. You want seven houses? Here we go. This uh, poor couple, they cannot like, they, I mean, they, they pay for their rent, but it's like every month, it's a new battle. Pro, uh, pro, longevity. Okay, so just, just uh, so some people have this, uh, this uh, idea where that, uh, where because somebody lives long, he, he, he's happy. Or it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, sure like um, proof of anything. And we have our dear student. One second, let me see if he's here. See, maybe okay maybe he's not here yet he's going to join maybe later so for for some time for a year two years i don't remember how long so he was working in a nursing home and he told me all of these people that who like uh, like vegetables there maybe they uh, with all of the technologies with all of this uh, 
um, to them like medical advances. They can keep them in, uh, in this uh, stage for 10 years, 15 years. No, not even wages, some, some of them like uh, in um, like other, uh, like uh, all, all, and, uh, all of these uh, medications for many, many years. So they maybe they're going to live till 89. Does it, uh, does it say something about the quality of life? Absolutely not. Right, honor. Okay, so these uh, wicked people get honor, right? And other benefits. But he does not grant them tranquility as it is in. So all of these, whatever they wanted, they, they get. But tranquility, there is no tranquility. Right? And as we said before, without tranquility, this uh, this life is worthless. So he has millions, but uh, he, he's afraid this, uh, these people are uh, going to sue him. I don't know, his wife is, uh, I don't know, have a, has a boyfriend or something. Uh, um, children, drug addicts, no, no tranquility, right? Why? Hashem promised so. Conversely, uh, peace is reward uh, that is reserved for righteous as it is written. And uh, peace is reward for, for righteous even in this world. In this world. So they have uh, very little. I have a very cl uh, my close friend, very righteous uh, person, very, 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 very righteous. And uh, they are very poor, Baruch Hashem. And he, I never saw him, never ever saw him without a smile, never ever. And he has all of the, I think, uh, uh, diseases, I mean, not, not all of them, but many, many like uh, health issues. He always smile, always cheerful. Same with his wife, kids, Baruch Hashem, poor. Okay. Um, and, and the deeds of the righteous will be rewarded with peace, right? So that's from the same place. Continue. It is... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it is through one's ways of peace and brotherhood that others are inspired to repent and draw near the one above. As it is written, I create fruit of, of, of the lips. Peace, peace for far and near, says Hashem, and I shall heal him. Okay, so let's uh, try to understand. That's all, always also very, very powerful lines. So let's see. It is through the one's way of peace and brotherhood. And others, um, the, other, um, the others are inspired to repent and draw, um, draw near to the one above. So some brotherhood, some, some care about people around you. So one, one person went to Nusho and he was so upset. It's like unbelievable. So why? Because nobody even say hi. Nobody say you knew like uh, he's the cedar, he's the bathroom, he's this, he's uh, how uh, here we, we have coffee machine. Like nobody, like like he's uh, like he's not there, unfortunately, right? Uh, and then uh, then he went to another show. One person smiled and said good morning. He said, "I love the show. It's uh, twice as far from me, but I love the show. Just uh, just a little hello, and uh, that's it, right? Um, right? And uh, it says uh, inspired to repent and draw near the one above, as it is written. I create fruit of the lips, right? Which which is what." Peace, peace for afar and near, says Hashem, and I shall heal him. Okay, continue. Peace uh, is uh, precious for regarding all, uh, all, but one of the journeys and uh, encampments of the wilderness. The Torah says they journeyed and uh, they encamped, okay, in a plural, in, in a plural form, symbolizing the strife uh, that uh, plagued them. It is. Um, just a second. It is um, when the Jews arrived at Sinai that the Torah stayed and Israel camped uh, there opposite the mountain. With the verb uh, camped in a, in a singular. Okay. So meaning in all of the other travels we have, uh, unfortunately, uh, all of the Machlokis. But uh, when we got to the Mount Sinai, it was like a, it's one, uh, as one as, as supposed to be, one nation. Okay, so meaning peace is not so easy to achieve, and even if we, when uh, when we see that uh, they they saw the open miracles of Hashem, um, and still there were no peace between people. So I, it's my my all personal take. You have to work on peace, right? It says in Perkyo, uh, like uh, cherish peace and run after it. So it's not it's not so simple, right? Just because you want peace. Everybody right, is going to read your mind? Absolutely not. You have to work on it. Said the Holy One, blessed is He, uh, the moment when they shall receive the Torah has arrived. Right? Meaning uh, then uh, everybody is at peace. 
with each other. Just one second. For as long as the peace dwell among them, the divine presence dwell among them. Thus it is written, um, he, God, uh, became a king over Yishurun. When the numbers of the nation were um, gathered, the tribes of Israel in unity. Okay. So, Dvarim Tori 3, 5. Okay. When God of Israel, when, uh, when, when is God Israel's king, in a full sense, is when does the, um, his presence dwell among them, when they are united. Okay. So, when everybody is, uh, is united around uh, the source of Hashem, then uh, that's when uh, Hashem's presence is, uh, is shown in the fullest sense. So, unfortunately, as all of us know, it's not, uh, we are very far from that at this moment. But Bezras Hashem. A previous um, precious is peace, for um, it is through, through peace that it would, uh, uh, that the world endures. And the sages state in Avas 118, the world endures in three things, justice, truth, and peace. Three, three things, justice, truth, and peace. As it is said, uh, truth is a um, verdict of peace. Truth and, and, and the verdict of peace uh, are you to um, adjudicate in your gates. Zachary 816. All right, we'll stop here.